Good day and welcome back to our session. Continuing with our discussion from the previous lesson, we are now on day two. I'm just presenting you this slide again just to remind you that our topic, which is the kitchen tools and equipment, is under a clean, sanitize, and store kitchen tools and equipment. And again, our objective, our goal, is for you to recognize the different tools and equipment that needs cleaning and sanitizing. Now, before we continue with our discussion, let's have a short recap or a short review of the different kits and tools and equipment from our day one discussions. I'll be presenting pictures and you have to try to identify these images or these pictures. So you can use a paper or you can use a notepad available in your computer, then we will answer them afterwards. Okay, so try to identify the following tools. I'll give you 30 seconds to answer. Timer has already started. Five seconds. Okay, time's up. So let's start first with the first tool over here. So we have here, what do you call this one? Okay, so if your answer is a garlic press or garlic press, you are correct. This one, yes, this one is a thermometer scale or a meat thermometer. Next one is a potato masher. Next one is your grater. And the last one can be called as a kitchen shear or a shear alone. You did a great job. So moving on to day two of kitchen tools and equipment. This is just a continuation from our previous lesson. So let's go. Okay, so moving on to our day two discussion, we have here your wire whisk. It is used for blending, mixing, whipping eggs or butter, and for blending gravies, sauces, and soups. So the beaters are made out of loop steel wires, which are twisted together to form the handle. An available substitute for a wire whisk is the use of a fork for mixing and beating. In the absence of this tool, you can also use an electric mixer or a hand mixer to perform the task. This can only be used for soft butters or mixtures of flour and water. Using this for hard butters or for dough type mixture, this will damage the whisk and will be non-functional. Clean this by soaking the whole head of the whisk in a warm water and by whisking the water to slowly remove the food stock on the surface of the whisk. Then wash it with soap and rinse with water. And also you have to towel dry or you can just do air dry, okay? Next is a thong. This tool enables you to grab easily and transfer larger food items such as your poultry or meat. So it gives you a better grip, especially when using with a deep fryer or a large stock pot or at the barbecue. This can also be used for plating purposes so as not to have a direct contact to the food. And if you are afraid of oil splatters, this one can help you to at least have a safe distance from the range to protect you from scalding. Um, it can also be used for cooking food such as fried chicken, fried fish, or fried meats. Next one are your wooden spoons. These are used for creaming, stirring, and mixing. So they should be made of hardwoods, as you may have noticed. These are also kind of spatulas, but are generally called wood spoons, since they are made out of wood. So we have here from the left to the right. So starting from here, we have here your loaded spatula. 
This one can also be considered as a rice cooper. This one is a perforated spatula. This one are your turner and flippers. And this one is your regular spatula. So these are best to use for a Teflon coated pan since they are good insulators and won't make scratch or damage Now, what is the name of this tool? Clue, this is not a knife. Now, this one is your straight edge spatula. This is used for leveling your ingredients when measuring and for spreading frostings and for sandwich fillings. This is usually utilized in baking, but is also used in cookery for sandwiches. This tool has a straight edge, ideal to level the icings or frostings on cakes. The blade is not actually sharp, but it is dull. The handle to the metal base is lightly elevated and not totally straight. Next one is a household scale or a weighing scale. It is used to weigh large quantity of ingredients for measuring rice, flour, sugar, meat, and vegetables in kilos up to 25 pounds. Is a French knife. So here are pictures of different knives. Among the three pictures here, which do you think is the real French knife? Is it the first, the second, or the third one? Five seconds. Okay, so if your answer is the first one, then you are correct. Congratulations. If your answer are between the second and the third, you still serve a clap from yourself. You did great. Proceeding with our topic, a French knife or a kitchen knife or a chef's knife, its functions are countless, from chopping to dicing to mincing, which is a great deal for chefs to have. It must always be sharpened to perform at its best, making it sure that it can perform what it is intended to. Be careful around knives or when using one. This usually results in cuts or stabs when not handled properly. Next one. This one is called a citrus knife. So what is a citrus knife? You do not normally see this kind of knife. But this one is used to separate the sections of citrus fruits, such as pomelo or oranges. In the absence of this tool, a normal knife or a bare hand can be used to perform the task. Is the fruit and salad knife, which is used to prepare vegetables and fruits. So these are made out of hard plastics or metals coated with colors. Coating is to avoid rusting or darkening of the blades if dealing with citrusy foods. They are also prone to breakage and the coating will not last long if used in different food items, except when using it for its general purpose. They are very similar to the hard and plastic rubber knives, but these are only for fruits and salad making. Next one is a paring knife, which is used to core, peel, and section fruits and vegetables. It also comes with a lot of names, such as carving knife or a small knife. So blades are short, concave with hollow ground. This tool is generally used to peel fruits and to create garnishes for decorations. Next one are your kitchen knives. Often referred to as cook or chef's tool, can you name the five kitchen knives starting from the left to the right? Okay, so the first knife is called a serrated knife. For hard breads, the one with the so tooth like edge for cutting. The second one is the French or the chef's knives, already been discussed, multifunction knife. The third one is the deboning or fillet knife for filleting your fish or for deboning meats and poultry. 
We also have the next, which is the paring knife. And the last one is the bread or your butter knives. So these knives are typically set in a knife rack, including the emery board or stick to which they are sharpened. So let us now move on to our kitchen equipments. So what are equipments or what is an equipment? So equipment may refer to a small electrical appliance such as a mixer or a large, expensive, power-operated appliance such as a range or a refrigerator. So these are mandatory pieces in the kitchen or in any food establishments. Your refrigerators and freezers are necessary in preventing bacterial infections from foods. Most refrigerators have special compartment for meat, fruit, and vegetables to keep the moisture content of each type of food. Butter compartment holds butter separately to prevent food odors from spoiling its flavor. Basically, refrigerator or freezer is an insulated box equipped with refrigeration and a control to maintain the proper inside temperature for food storage. Is an oven. So this uses an enclosed heat for cooking, baking, heating, or drying, most especially for baking purposes. So this is where you can use your cast iron for either a casserole or for baking. So this is powered by electricity or either powered by a fuel or a gas. Next one is a microwave oven. So this uses a heat wave that cannot be seen by our naked eye to heat foods or to slightly cook a food. Not necessarily for cooking since it is not designed to really cook a dish, but just for heating purpose. Many hacks you see on Facebook, YouTube, or TikTok are somehow manipulated or some just works. Considering safety, avoid using this for cooking. Next one is a blender. A blender is a very useful appliance. It is used to chop, blend, mix, whip, puree, grate, and liquefy all kinds of food. So this sums up our lesson for today. And again, an activity is waiting for you to answer, so please don't forget. And wishing I was able to teach you something from this lesson. Thank you and have a great day.